out of 66,000 hectare meters of rainwater that falls over the 800 square kilometer area, nearly uh, 3,100 hectare meters is the infiltration that we could arrive into, both from the tank uh, population as well from the other uh, area. That means 3,100 hectare meter of water is the approximate percolation into the ground over an extent of 800 square kilometer. If that be the case, what will be the extraction level that is going on? And there is, there is no statistics available in any of the government organization or a non-government organization about the population statistics of floods. And we made sincere efforts to contact much of these BWSSP, other government organizations, corporation, and um, uh, even other uh, public also were uh, interviewed, they were also asked for. Finally, we could arrive into that 7,000 borewells for the public water supply by the BWSSP is the figure existing as of 2010. As of 2010. That is the statistics we were given. And in addition, there are about 1,10,000 bore wells which have been registered by the public with the BWSSP. That is another figure. That is all in Bangalore, sir, I am speaking. Not in the uh, rural part of it, it is in the urban part only. And the intensive inquiry made over different blocks of Bangalore, it gave us a figure that there are unregistered bore wells of about 2 lakh bore wells. So, the total of population of Borwell in Bangalore area, if we can take it at 3.12 or 3.2 lakh Borwell, what is the total discharge that we have? We made a very conservative estimate. Even that figure is also not available in any source. But taking an average of about 5,000 liters per day from a public Borwell, and say around 1,000 liters per day. It is a very conservative estimate that I am telling you. And uh, of course, some inquiries made, it has revealed, and based on that, we have come over to. 12,400 hectare meter is the approximate discharge, that is the <coughs> extraction of groundwater that is taking place totally from this 3.2 lakh waters. That means to say, when we have a recharge component of around 3 lakh hectare meter, 3,000 uh, hectometer into the ground. The extraction of 12,000 uh, uh, hectometer is there. That is nearly 358% or four times more than the recharge, recharge the extraction is taking place. So, <coughs> what, uh, what the, the, the actual requirement of Bangalore population, the water requirement is, present population is 85 lakh. When, uh, say it is expected by 2020, it will be around 95 lakh. What will be the total demand for water during that period? It is around 48,000 hectare meter. And again, this 48,000 hectare meter of water, what is the supply portion of it now by the BWSSP? The river water source from uh, Tipco and Nandi and Kaveri, uh, different stages where another phase it is yet to come up. It is around 36,000, that is the designed supply. They have made. When 36,000 hectare meter is the design supply, what is the actual supply they are making if you they think about? It is 30% of transmission loss, they say. This is the minimum figure. Uh, even people say that it is 40, 45 lakh, uh, 45 percent there. But then it is around 24,000 hectare meters that is being supplied by the river resources. And around 12,000 is the uh, resource from the groundwater. But a stage has come now. What is the rock uh, position here? What is the rock condition here? The rocks are divided up giant after about 280 meter depth. After about 200, almost, it is a generalized statement, sorry, about uh, 50 meters this way or that way, things may be happening. But after about 280 meter depth, the rocks are divided up giant. So whatever the water that has percolated, we are extracting it. At four times more than the recharge component. When this recharge component is going on for many years, or if it goes on for many years, what will be the position? Already the borewells being drilled from the center point to peripheral part, if we go, if the depth of the borewells are getting increased, and at the peripheral parts, 
nearly about 300 meter depth, the borewells are now currently being drilled. That means to say, they have already reached a stage where there cannot be any groundwater at all in the years to come, or it has already threatened. That is the situation totally it comes out. When this is the situation, that means it is a mining of groundwater resources <coughs> taking place in certain pockets of the area. But suddenly the central groundwater board, which has worked out intensively for about the monitoring of water levels around the high court area, it is actually coming up. The water level it is building up. That is what uh, um, I okay. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. How it could? Because there is no groundwater exploitation in the surrounding parts of the area. There is much of the open space in that area. And most of the buildings that are constructed in the surrounding parts of it, rainwater, that is roof water harvesting and rainwater harvesting, it has been promoted by. And that has, there is no exploitation much of groundwater. That has resulted particularly for the building up of the water table in the place. But as we move far away, where there is no much supply of uh, river water resource, there is much dependence on groundwater by the public. So, what I mean to say is, groundwater, the, the, probably this is a tender case where it is happening elsewhere also. I don't know, I am not much sure about it, about the other urban limits. But this can be, if this is generalized, what I mean to say is, groundwater is not a sustainable resource. So what is the alternative that we can go? Probably the roof water harvesting. It is one of the factors which can lead to have sufficient water within the urban limit. What I can mean to say is, say about 30 meter by 30 meter plot is there. I'm just giving you the figure. Uh, say around uh, 90 meter hectometer of uh, 90 square meter of area is there. If this 830 millimeter of rainfall is there, what will be the quantum of water that you get? It can be around 750 cubic meter there. 750 uh, uh, cubic meter means how much of water that it can be wasted. Say around 150 if you waste it, still 600 cubic meter of water right from the roof water, uh, roof water you can get it. Average consumption of water per head per year is around 51 cubic meter if that is taken at 140 liters per day. So, how many people, can, how much of population can go in for such a conservation of water? If around 600 uh, cubic, uh, cubic meter of water can serve about 12 people, then what can be the generalized system of water conservation that we can go in for? This is one point. And the usage of roof water harvesting or rain water harvesting system, it certainly makes fake that groundwater, when it is not much used, it can get, uh, get, uh, gets re it can get uh, revived. And how long we can, we, you can use it only as a uh, reserve, as a, during the period of drought. This groundwater, let it be used. Let you promote more of rainwater, harvesting, roof water harvesting. Let it be made more compulsory. Let, it be, let that awareness come on to the public and then the water table it can certainly build up. And finally what it happens, when the water table is revived, particularly for the period what it was about three or four decades back, if it is revived, then manage it properly. Not allow it for over extraction again. Going for around 60% of the extraction, when once it is revived after that particular time. This is my particular point of view. And uh, uh, the, the Another point is roof water, I told you. Uh, uh, tank water recharge and other things. Yes, it is certainly there. It can be looked into. Tank water recharge. But unfortunately, this is an urban area in Bangalore. Already there were tanks, but mismanaged with properly because of inflow of uh, sewage and all that. And another particular point I wanted to tell you is say around 70,000 70, hectare meter of storm water. Uh, you will be getting it every year, storm water discharge. But all that 17,000 hectare meter, if it is let out to the sewer load where Vishwavati and Panaya river systems are there, what will be the use of it? Now we are trying to bring Kaveri water, but what the water we have, and it reaches Kaveri again, are we bringing it back? 